Hello everyone, and welcome to Pico Tutorials. Today we are going to cover network design. What we have here is a simple document showing how the server and the client communicate. There are three parts to this design. The server, the client, and the Pico Sync Proxy, also known as the Pico Cloud. Let's start with the server. The communication is outbound only through ports 80 and 443 with the optional yet recommended port of 3345 for reverse tunneling via UDP. All of this communication is encrypted and directed toward picovms.com. This allows the server to communicate with the Pico proxy. On the client side, for mobile and for thick clients, the communication is the same as the server, outbound only through ports 80, 443, and the optional 3345 toward the Pico Sync proxy. There is no data stored in the Pico proxy. The Pico proxy is for connections only. All user information, configs, and video are stored locally on the servers. For those of you who would like to use Active Directory integration, Pico does support that over TCP port 636. This is the standard network design of Pico VMS. Thank you for watching Pico Tutorials. If you'd like to watch more how to videos around Pico, please click here for our tutorials channel. Or you can visit us at picovms.com for more documentation and downloads.